Oh, okay. Uh, is that? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first edition of the Thunder Clan. Uh, I'm Dew and I'll be your commentator here for th today for Pokken. It's been a long while, but uh, let's get started soon. So, uh, both players are already uh, already been prepared on the, on the stage, so we will be get heading into the game now. Yep, Ken. All right. And uh, for those of you tuning in, uh, we are uh, this is our very first edition of our of the our new tournament series. is called the Thunder Clap. Uh, thanks, uh, shout out to Escape who uh, very generously partnered with, uh, with uh, we have partnered with, and we will be running our future Thunder Claps with Escape as well. Uh, for those of you tuning in for the first time, please uh, feel free to come head down. We will have uh, we will have our th our thunderclap monthlies uh, every month. So uh, and our uh, registration will be free. So do feel free to come down and try to learn the game and interact with the community. And uh, both players are just taking their time to figure out their support and cheer skill. And we will be heading very soon. Uh, we are now heading into game one. Uh, this is going to be Tyron, our, our very old veteran of the game. It's been around for a very long time. And uh, against him is Momora, formerly known as Iceberg. Uh, for those of you who don't know, she is like. She is the third. Pl she has placed third place in the Oceania International Challenge. Uh, the Oceania I see uh, in 2020 in the seniors. Uh, fairly a very very impressive resume here. And uh, right now, as we are currently seeing, both players have started. Momora immediately taking the advantage here, but uh, Tyron mashing out the throw. Goes for un uh, ch uncharged CA, trying to catch Momora flinching there. Momora just keeping the plus frames already. Extremely good, uh, con extremely good corner control here for Momora. Oh dear, tries to go for the barrier, but the barrier armor frames get stuffed out. Tyron lands a CA against the throw onto the fire punch. That fire punch is a counter attack, which means it can be thrown. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the game, Pokemon Head works on a RPS triangle system. Uh, for namely the attack speed throws, counter attacks the universal armor mechanic. Uh, will be attacks and throws will be and throws will be uh, counter armor. Now, of course, there's a lot of ways to work around the universal system. And Tyron, oh, very, very good bit on Momora's power on the a burst attack, but she is, but uh, she is on a life deficit. Lands the throw crush, gets the wall splash, tries to throw. That looks like a little bit of a miss input there. Latios is called from Tyron's side. Latios cage is a very, very oppressive once per round tool. And unfortunately, uh, with Momora with the excellent DP using the side strike to anti air against the fire punch will escape the corner right there. Step over here from Tyron. Makes it over the 4Y four, the four lands again with the JX. Going down the cage, trying to pin Momora down inside the Latios cage. But Momora escapes with the throw, drops the ID, JY confirm. 5X gets the wall splat. Just trying to push in. Tick, thro uh, tick throw set up with the first hit of uh, homing. And Momora caught over respecting Tyron a little bit. Tyron takes advantage of the get and gets a nice throw. Starting the throw, lob out the energy balls, trying to stack up the stock power here. Fort White connects. And Tyron just building as much space as he can for himself. Declares the burst in response to the Togekiss call. The Togekiss of course is a 
the Tailwind is a speed boost. And Pyron using excellent use of the light armor from the burst mode of Gardevoir is going to land the very Tempest here onto Momora and this will kill. So we are 1-1 one, one in the very first game of our of the Thunderclap here today. Tyron doing an excellent job right now and just keeping the space against Momora. Momora of course playing very very patient. Uh, she is the type of player that will that keep stand around and observe before she makes uh, hard, any hard reads. And so far, this is going to be a massive conversion here. Momora opting not to shift there. Instead, will get the reset with the barrier, gets the 8Y, and that's huge damage. Tyron sitting at a massive life deficit. Sideway, the Cycle Cutter just buy The Sideway into the Cycle Cutter just buying Momora so much space. And with the homing 1, 2, Momora will pin down Tyron. And the first match of today goes to Momora. Excellent, excellent stuff here coming in from Momora. Just keeping very tight corner control. Uh, just keeping very tight corner control, playing a very, very good field phase. Just dominating a lot of the center stage and just pushing Tyron into the corner here. Oh, second. Game two here of our very first set. Finds the forward Y, Mo uh, Momora caught trying to throw out one too many jump Ys. Tyron setting up the sidekick. Gets the plus frames, oh dear, gets the tech out though. Gets thrown, the, the, the stored power here. And Tyron, the deadly Gardevoir zoning game has been set up. But Momora ignores a lot of it, just challenging Tyron at every turn. Tyron caught a little bit unaware, gets thrown for his troubles. The neutral Y just trying to pin down oh the trade with the with the drain punch. And now Momora, for those of you who don't know, Pokemon runs on a support system so that uh, the Pokemon secondary Pokemon icon underneath the the health bar and the meet and the burst meter will indicate your assist of assault. So uh, Momora is running Togekiss which has the tailwind ability. It will give uh, it gives it gives uh, the Mewtwo a uh, giant speed boost, and on top of the massive wa natural walk speed of uh, Mewtwo, it just gives him a, a lot of maneuverability. Tyron, on the other hand, is running the Latio support. The Latio is a once per round K uh, support. It's extremely powerful. It calls a giant cage around your opponents, and they are not. A and they, if each player takes two hits, it's an extremely oppressive tool here. Now Gardevoir, of course, is the premier one of the premier zoners and uh, a favorite of the in the region. Action uh, makes really good good use of the stored power mechanic. Very very good challenge there from Tyron with the new with the uh, neutral A with the five A there that we call Psy Shot. It is a very high priority projectile, a very very fast poke, and uh, game one may have gotten to, gone to Momora, but. Tyron playing really, really aggressive, deciding to crank up aggression in game two, and he has even the score line here between both players. Really, really excellently done. And we are getting to game three, a very early, the first game three of the day, and um, to see in our very first set, it's pretty uh, exciting. It's a pretty exciting thing to see. And again, Momora making really good use of that side Y into the barrier, uh, the barrier stance, which is uh, a stance that has uh, several different follow-ups. You have a throw of it, you have an armored attack, and you have a long-reaching plus poke in that form of drain punch. Now, of course, drain punch doesn't imply steals health, steals meter. So it's a very important move for Mewtwo in a resource war. So far, that Psycho Cutter just really putting in a lot of work for Momora. And uh, for those of you who are unaware, Mewtwo does spend meter on his attacks. 
Uh, it's it's the small, one of the small trade-offs of having such powerful moves. And Tyron trying to throw his way out of pressure once again gets homing attacked for his troubles. Momora understanding that Tyron is being, playing the his defense very aggressively. He's just trying to throw as much as, as he can, as often as he can. Very good. Oh, gets the crit! Good follow-up with the 6x, Momor recognizing the situation, but uh, it's been some time since we, we've all played offline and uh, dro unfortunately will drop the IADJY combo after it. No perfect block on the burst and Tyron has popped his own. Now if you take a look at the meter situation, uh, these past few games, uh, Momora has been not uh, unleashed his burst. Her burst a single time. Oh, get held at front. JX comes in. This is huge damage. She doesn't get the full conversion though. Calls the Toga Kiss. Burst gets prepared by Tyron, just trying to buy himself some space. Oh, the exhaust frames. That was really huge. That was really lucky there. Tyron, unfortunately, trying to CA CA there, and will get thrown for his troubles. The first. That was an excellent, excellent match there, and the first. And the first victor of the day on stream will be Momora over Tyron. Excellent match there. And uh, we will see, we'll be going to, we'll be moving on in the bracket here. So just hold tight, ladies and gentlemen. We will be back soon with more Pokémon. All right. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are currently waiting on our next match here. So do, do stay tight, we are... Uh, the players, uh, the first round of winner's bracket is still running outside of stream. currently live and we are waiting for the next match it's currently our winners round two is uh, our winners round one is currently underway for those of you who are still currently sitting in chat uh, do let me know how the audio sounds. We are current we are currently running on a new setup here, so things uh, the audio our audio balancing and everything is still very new for us. <laughs> so uh, during this downtime I would like to take the time to talk to chat, so uh, this for those of you who are, aren't in the know, we are Pokemon SG. So we ho we are hosting our online, and I believe this is our. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it appears that I will be heading off soon because apparently the next match that I scheduled for stream is going to be involve me, both me and our other commentator Kia Coral. So uh, t I do believe that Tyron is going to be the person that's going to be joining us soon on stream. So uh, I will be handing off the mic to Tyron right now.
Is it on now? Hello, hello. How is everyone doing here today? All right, so today we got Coral and you. Are we uh, standing the commentator for the day? And we got uh, Dew and Coral setting up, and uh, I guess our two commentator. Uh, in this scenario, we are getting a third backup commentator. It's been a busy day so far, and it's been fun. It's been really fun, and you know, definitely for Coral and Dew, they're going to be definitely putting on a good show. I suppose it's going to be the old classical with you know, Dew's Libre. No, 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 not Dew's Libre. Coral's Libre. Coral's Libre. And do Destiny do I, but I may be wrong, you know? It's been two years since we all got together in a LAN event on the phone. And I'm uh, kinda curious with the whole setup. Oh, before we do that, Koro, I changed control settings, huh? I changed control settings. We may need to, you may need to reset, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, hey, he, all right, yeah. Now we're beginning our search as we do.